All right, these are the supplies that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some rubbing alcohol to clean the puppy's ear, some sports tape, not bandage tape. Sports tape is found in the ace bandage area of the store. Um, scissors, a couple paper towels, and a nice thick straw. Um, one that, you know, I get them from Arby's, so just not a regular straw, just a little bit thicker. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a paper towel, a little bit of alcohol, this helps dry out the puppy's ear also, and clean his ear out nice and good. You wanna get both sides really good, so get all that gunk out, especially if he just had posts in a day before. So get the ear nice and clean, and we'll do the other side, but then what you're gonna wanna do is put the straw in the puppy's ear, pull the puppy's ear up, and stick it down into the ear canal and then you're going to want to pull that ear up so it's as far up that straw as it can be just like that and then cut a little bit above just like that so you want to have a little bit of extra you don't want to go under all right to make the posts you are going to want to take the straw put it up on some paper on the paper towel you're going to want to cut a few inches up just like this and then cut so you have a little square because this is going to wrap around the post just like this and then you're going to just wrap it up it gives it some thickness there we go and now if you look over here we have a few tapes right here so we have two squares one that's a little bit longer and then three long strips this is what you're going to need to do one ear so with the two squares right here, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it over there. This seals each end, just like that. So we've got that. And then once you have this, you're gonna pull this out. This is actually how you make the post sticky. You're gonna take it, circle that around once, and then you're gonna flip it back around. So what that does is make it sticky just like that and then you're going to go down the whole length of the post so um, just like this so you want to go all the way down make a nice pretty post just like that and cut alright so now we've got the post so the next step is you're going to be putting the post inside the puppy's ear, getting it nice and firmly down in there. So now you can see here, this post is a little bit too long. So a little long is fine. You can always cut a little bit off. There you go. And, but you can't add any. If your post is so short that the tip of that ear is folding over it, you need to start over, get a new post. So with the next size up tape, I'm gonna put it on one side of the ear, wrap it around just like that. So, now, that way it's in there. Now when you do this, the initial one, you wanna get to the bottom, you wanna wrap around so you're gonna fold that piece of skin back a little bit. So you don't wanna go the other way around, you wanna go with that fold, just like that. And the important part is getting this part tight. It's okay if the little top part of the tape is a little bit loose. Then you're gonna go up. Bring it back down, just like that. And then the final piece, you need this ear pulled up a bit. So you wanna get as far down on the base as possible, kinda of start from the center of the post, bring this part in and wrap it around just like that. So boom, now you have his ears taped. All right, so now we have two tapes in both ears. Um, typically, you don't have to use posts uh, or um, a bridge or a chin guard unless there's major problems going on with the uh, ears. Um, one thing you wanna make sure of is if you see swelling going on down here, you need to take the tapes off because um, that means blood flow is being cut off. Also, the tapes have to stay dry. If they get wet and they stay on, they can rot the dog's ear, so just make sure to take them off if they get wet. Otherwise, just keep them dry.